Black holes are the monsters of the universe. Terrifying cosmic beasts that devour all they encounter. But black holes scare scientists for very different reasons. They challenge our theories to the breaking point. This is at the forefront of theoretical physics. When it comes to the detailed nature of black holes, it would not surprise me if we got it all wrong. The science of black holes is so challenging that some scientists question whether they exist at all. Despite their fearsome reputation, we've never actually seen one. Black holes are everywhere. They're all over the universe. They're all throughout our galaxy. But that doesn't mean that they're easy to find. They're black and space is black, and black on black is kind of hard to see in a picture of space. This is paradoxical, because scientists believe black holes are born in some of the brightest explosions in the universe. Rising from the corpses of detonated stars, many times larger than our sun. A star that burns for 10 million years collapses to form a black hole in a period of seconds. As it collapses, the outer region of the star hits the core, triggering a huge explosion, a supernova. We see the bang, but not what's left behind. A dead core with the enormous mass of the star crushed down into an infinitesimal, tiny area. From this minuscule, high-mass core, a black hole is born. The flow of gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. But how can scientists claim that black holes exist if we can't even see them? You could say that about the existence of the atom. We knew they had existed for decades, centuries, before we had actually seen one in some sort of imaging device. And so it's the same sort of thing with black holes. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Not seeing black holes, but knowing they're there is a possibility, just like we know that wind is there even though we can't see air. Air is invisible, but when the wind blows, its effects can be measured. It's the same with black holes. You just need to know what to look for. Black holes are gravitational giants of the universe. But we've found only circumstantial evidence that they exist. To make it a slam dunk, cosmologists are listening for proof in the hidden world of gravitational waves. There are gravitational waves going through this room all the time. Every time I move my hands like I just did, I create gravitational waves. The problem is, Gravity is so weak that you don't detect those gravitational waves. In order to detect those disturbances in space and time, you have to have cataclysmic events involving massive objects. Black holes are some of the densest objects in the universe. So we should be able to hear and measure the waves created when they collide. LIGO, the Long Interferometry Gravitational Wave Observatory, listens for waves that can come from over a billion light years away. In 2017, LIGO heard an enormous crash. Two 
very massive objects collided at near the speed of light in one of the most energetic events that we've ever witnessed in the history of humankind. Two ultra-heavy, ultra-dense objects whirl around each other, hurling powerful gravitational waves through space. The closer they fall toward each other, the more gravitational energy they throw out. Finally, they collide in one of the most violent events in the universe. The smash sends out immense gravitational waves that ripple across intergalactic space until, eventually, LIGO detects them. Listening to a gravitational wave is like listening to a musical instrument. If it's making certain tones or certain vibrations, you can figure out the size of the musical instrument, the type of the musical instrument, who's playing the musical instrument. The thing that's really amazing about the LIGO detection is it allowed us to measure the mass of these objects and how quickly they coalesce together. So we actually have an idea how dense they must have been. And with modern physics, we say, well, it has to be a black hole. But the question is, have we missed something? The information gathered by LIGO is groundbreaking. But some scientists think that the gravitational waves could have come not from black holes, but from something even more mysterious. It's possible that what we identify as black holes in our universe are really another object like Gravistar. Possible. There's a capital P on that possible. A gravistar is what scientists call an exotic, compact object. This bizarre, theoretical body has exactly the same mass and gravitational pull as a black hole, but it's made of exotic matter. A gravistar would be impossible to see with the naked eye, but because it forms differently than a black hole, it has a strange, incredibly dense surface. In the formation of what we think of as a black hole, the catastrophic gravitational collapse of a dense object, maybe it doesn't go all the way down to become an infinitely dense point. Instead, maybe there's some interaction that prevents the formation of the black hole. And instead you have a tight little dense ball, which is what we call a gravistar. So the LIGO data could be the signature of two black holes colliding, but it also could be the signature of two gravistars colliding. Right now, we can't tell them apart. So for now, gravitational waves have led to a dead end in the hunt for black holes. We can't be completely sure that we're hearing them, and we already know we can't see them. But what about the mayhem they leave behind? Even though you can't see the black hole itself, it's gonna leave behind a trail of destruction, and that is something you can see. By picking apart a cosmic crime scene, can scientists finally solve the mystery of black holes? <laughs>